hello students today we will discuss about the hospital classification and uh, the function of the hospital so let's start first of all we will see what is a hospital uh, we have seen that hospital is a organization and different different uh, different different uh, works are being done in the hospital like there is a patient there is a medical staff pharmacy and uh, there is an emergency department so every different department or a part of the hospital are organizing a different duties so uh, in in a simple language we can say a hospital is a complex organization where for the purpose or the restoration and the maintenance of the health of the patients okay and the hospital word it is obtained from or originated from a latin word which is known as hospitalis which is known as hospitalis this hospitalis latin word comes from the hospitus hospitus means a host so a host or any of the patient which is named as a host is coming into the hospital so it is a responsibility of the hospital medical staff to maintain or reiterate the health of the patients so according to the who world health organization defined a hospital as a residential establishment which provides a short term or a long term medical care consisting of the observational diagnostic therapeutic and rehabilitative services for the persons suffering or suspected to be suffering from a disease or injury and for parturitions in a whole definition who is uh, wants to describe that a hospital is according to who is a residential establishment okay so here the patients are coming for their short term or long term medical care like the patient are coming into the opd or ipd ipd is in patient which are into the patient and their treatments are going short term like the patient is coming for the opd taking the medicine and going out of the hospital and for that ipd and opd the hospital has to provide first of all observe diagnose the disease and give the therapeutic medicines and also help in a rehabilitative services the person who are suffering or suspected to be suffered from a disease or whether a disease or a injury or for the parturitions okay got it so it may or may not also provide the services for ambulatory patients on an outpatient basis it depends upon the hospital to hospital first of all we will see the function of hospital the for the purpose of the public health care and the patient care the hospital are serving a different different functions first is your patient care first is your patient care uh, so for the patient the main focus or you can say a function of the hospital is the patient care so basically a uh, hospital is made for the patient care first of all the it has to identify the disease of the patient through various method by the physician which is known as a diagnosis or the hospital help the patient to diagnose his his or her illness and then treat the treat the disease or the diagnosed outcome has to be cured by the hospital hospitals also provide a preventive medicines rehabilitation and conversion care so these are the first function of the hospital second is the public health hospitals also uh, help to take care on the public health public health is another important activity of the hospitals because the hospital through their pub, 
uh, by connecting with the community it will also reduce the incidence of the sickness or the disease injury accidents or the epidemics can occur in our country or in a state so you can say it uh, malaria they give a uh, patient um, they give a uh, counseling to the community about the malaria how it is spreading how you can prevent it what you have to eat what you have not to eat so monitoring parameters are uh, suggested to the individuals to the persons to to prevent the uh, to prevent the disease to prevent the incidence of the disease okay next important role of the hospital is the education so beside the patient care public health the hospital also play a role of the education it will provide uh, you can say a hospital is a best center to initiate the education program uh, it can be a doctors nurses pharmacists dietitians laboratory technicians or any other healthcare professionals so the hospitals also provide in service training and residency programs for the healthcare professionals many courses like medical dental nursery pharmacy radiology laboratory technology physiotherapy etc are being conducted by the hospitals to improve the efficacy so hospitals are the best centers as i have said the for the patient education patient educations also been given by the hospitals for the management of many diseases like to for a long term diseases like hypertension diabetes it has to the patient has to get to know about the disease so that it can take um, take the medicines regularly and properly next is the function is your research hospitals are the best centers to carry on the research because there are most different different types of uh, groups of patients are coming into the hospitals with a different different disease occurrence so this is help the uh, it will improve the service of the hospital for the research now coming to the classification broadly the hospitals are classified into two the first is your clinical and second is your non clinical the clinical part of the hospital are uh, divided into specialized and general functions like a specialized department is your hospital are your pediatrics ent ophthalmology department and generals are divided into surgery and the medicine medicine you can go a general medicine practitioners and for the surgery or specialized department non clinicals are divided into a five six categories on the basis of ownership bed size length of the stay of the patients the which type of level of care the patient needs uh, the accreditation basis or according to the hospital cost so we will see one by one so according to the ownership the hospitals are divided into the four major categories on basis of the ownership or the management of the hospitals so we can say a government hospitals which is owned and managed and controlled by the government second is your private hospitals are the owned by the private parties cooperative hospitals which is owned by the member of the society and next is your voluntary agency hospitals which is known the owned and governed by the non governmental organization you can see a charitable or a trustees hospitals first is your government hospitals um, as the name suggests it is owned by the developed government so whatever the expenses of the hospitals constructions development maintenance hospital building whatever the facilities for uh, routine functional of the services activities is all generally made by the government and the salaries and wages of or the expenses of the healthcare professionals is also paid by the government so governments are uh, grouped into different different following categories like some are state government union territories or central government state government or uh, own go, uh, governmental agencies like departmentals like railway public industrial service unit 
some are the autonomous institutions established with the support of the governments or military hospitals for the army military army forces or the navy persons so next uh, classification in the basis of ownership is the private hospitals private hospitals uh, as we have seen that uh, is owned by the private parties or example you can see uh, apollo hospitals they are uh, they can be of partnership forms cooperation societies charitable trusts or a religious organization basically to whatever all the private hospitals are profit motivated institutions second is your cooperative hospital these are the group of local forces uh, for the initiative and the leadership in organizing the cooperative hospitals in the area so the all the cooperative hospitals are the member organization to achieve the organic growth arising of the locally felt needs so they can be a beneficial role by providing a low cost healthcare services as compared to your private health centers next is your classification of hospitals based on the size of the hospital so they can be a very small size where the bed size of the hospitals can be vary from 50 to 99 beds which is less than 100 examples you can say a municipal clinics or a private clinics next is your small size hospitals here the bed size is 100 to 500 uh, most common example in your area is in the hospitals and uh, next is your medium size hospitals example is, uh, for the bed size here it is vary from 500 to 1000 so example is your sharda hospital large scale large size hospitals are the when the bed size of the hospital is more than 1000 so these are the big hospitals like jeju hospital km hospital tata hospital is located in mumbai next classification you can see uh, on the basis of length of stay so the patient are staying into the hospital for short term stay or a long term stay if the patient are staying in a hospital for less than 30 days this is on short term and if it is more than 30 days he is staying in a hospital is a long term stay next on the basis of cost so on the basis of cost it can be low cost or a high cost cost so it can be a elite hospital which is a luxurious which be a five star hospital and these hospitals are costly having a different high technology and advancement uh, uh, instrument installed in the deluxe rooms which is equipped with your tv telephone refrigerators air conditioners and uh, the room rates were very very high it can be uh, more than 1500 per day so second is your budget hospital which is meant for moderate to low budget persons like your civil or charitable hospitals which is about 1000 rupees may vary from 500 to 1000 rupees per day on the basis of accreditation it can be hospital can be classified into accredited and non accredited but this accreditation part is applicable in your foreign countries hospitals because there these hospitals provide the facilities which are decided by the council about the health care like in uh, us so these are accredited and non accredited on the basis of level of care it can be classified into four different categories first is your self care which we we are working on your self uh, prevention of the disease second is the primary care centers in which you, you can say uh, opd types walk in clinics like the patient is coming into the hospital taking the medicines of the uh, of the treat uh, of of the disease and going out of the hospitals secondary uh, next is your secondary care hospital where the patient need to be uh, hospitalized in the uh, hospitalized in the hospitals so we can say uh, inpatient hospitals next is a tertiary care where a highly specialized diagnostic and therapeutic services are involved you need to provide the centers like uh, like your icu example you can say a neonatal intensive care unit nicu psicu icu so these are the 
uh, tertiary care centers. So, this is all about the classification and the function of hospitals. Thank you.